Today we put a last two games before the relegation split. Can we? Can we? Maybe reach top six instead of relegation split? It's physically possible, but can we do it? Probably not. This is a Gamer. My name is Duncan and welcome back to The Journeyman. <laughs> And let the changes roll in, because they have. Goddard is in goals, I forget what it looks like. Kabam, there he is. Uh, he's coming in in goals, replacing our left back is Hounstrup. I think McKinney's like 3 or 4, he's 3 and 4, so 10 and 10. He has a decent bad pace, but he's a no-nonsense fullback, so he's just defending. Uh, right mid, we have Colville coming in. Uh, inverted wing, apparently he's better than Gorsuch, so we're going to try it. And then up front we have Joshua Farrell up front. Bit of pace, more acceleration than pace, but good stats. Pretty much everyone else, so should, in theory, be a good goal scorer for us. Our other new signing has come in, Akwe, Akwe? Uh, he's, got, he's a bad second choice left winger. Gives an option if Herlock gets tired. And that... Is that sorry? Just one change on the bench. I don't want to make. Uh, so he's on the bench. Good ships on the bench as well, and so is Neil. So we have options now in the bench, and I'm very, very happy with that. So just let me do the quick numbers. Uh, Farrell, Aquae, Hounstrup, Koval. There we go, summit numbers. Yeah, it's okay, I don't really care if George Newell's offended at being dropped. You shit, mate. Although, he did score in the last game, but it's a good option to bring off the bench, as I've said that before. It's not that he's necessarily a bad player, he's just not great for us anymore. I said anymore, I don't know if he's good in the first place, but he's not the type of striker for me at this point in time, especially not as leading the line. He's probably a good second striker, but we're not playing with that at the moment, so. Not what we're looking for. We did win last game, but Carnarfon went all over us, so there's every chance, especially them being at home, that we could get absolutely hammered today. But we've got to hope that, especially with the new players coming in, McLean hopefully puts in a better performance. We might be okay. I know it's Clark's getting early booking, though, that's a worry. So is the fact I haven't got rid of this ball. Kelly though gets the ball, clears it, and that is the end of that highlight. They'll have a free kick just outside the box, and they hit it high and over the bar. Seven minutes gone, and they look like they're all over us again. Nobody's been horrifically bad yet, which is good. Was well, like a couple of the new boys moved in a little bit, got to speed, but that's kind of to be expected. I don't know when they last played a competitive game, or any games actually. Of football. But we have the ball now. Curl throws it to Page. Back to Curl. Back to McLean to Curl. Plays it up the line to Colville. Plays the ball first time through to Farrell. He saw he's why would you shoot? He had somebody running in with him. I could only assume that's her luck or one of our midfielders breaking forward. He should have squared that. That was a bad choice by Colville uh, Farrell there. Oh, and Carnarfon have just hit the post from the breakaway from that chance. We got lucky there. Covel with the ball in. Plays outside. Hurlock hits it long. Not too far away. Not the worst effort. Not the worst effort. Good one in the header. Farrell running the wrong way. Passes it back to Curl. Curl tries to put the long ball up to Colvo. He's not going to win it. Their left back clears it forward to their player called Reynolds. Kelly though intercepts. Takes the ball right off their player's feet. And we have the ball again. McLean to Kelly to Curl. Plays a long ball to absolutely nobody. Great football. Fuck. I feel like I'm playing like fucking Big Sam long ball without actually telling the players to go fucking long. We're maybe playing wing point. We're just hitting long balls to nobody. Come on, lads. Can we defend this? So that's a good point in the box. And that is a... Good finish. Houndstrop, I think, there doesn't pick up the striker. 
probably not what I want to see in a debut. <laughs> but Hoyle for them, out to Bauer. Plays out way to Reynolds. Plays a fantastic ball at the back post. And Houndstrop just nowhere to be seen. Okoronko? Okoronko gets the goal. 1-0 down. Free kick for us, O'Clock. Does, does he have a go there? Did he just try and shoot? Why would you try and shoot for there? Okay, and Goma, why would you not just head that back to goalkeeper? I won't complain. From what Houndstrom out to Clark, but we've lost it when it's went to Herlock. Long ball from them. Oh, he's took it around the centre half. Off the post. Almost goes in after deflection off a curl, but Curl managed to it out for a throw there. Jesus Christ. The fears kicked in just a little bit now. They've got the throw now. Puts it at the back post. Good catch by Goddard. Just takes that danger out of the way there. Goddard hits a low ball out there. He farrows. Never going to win that header. Jones. Because bought the back post. Reynolds off the post again. Bloody hell. Get me into half time, please. Come on, come on, come on. House up there is. Probably should be doing a hell of a lot better there, but we're not in that. That is a pain in the arse. Corner comes in, though. We managed to clear it. And at half time, it's Carnarfon 1, Bala 0. Dressing room. Thrash arms. Terrible. Now let's speak to people. Clark, do not get the fucking sent off. Page, you need to start playing well, lad. Can't just come at everybody. I'm not going to make any changes just yet. I don't really see the point. Let's see if we can do something. McLean, no good head up. Oh, Hounsop was about off him. Thank Christ that was the end of that highlight. Hounsop's having a really bad game. I think I'm going to bring on Alan Jones in a minute. And in Sassy. Good tackle by McLean. Gives it to Clark. Back to Goddard, who hits the ball long to nobody. What is the point? Genuinely, what is the point? That's a good ball. And... A player does clear it badly. They have a corner now. I'm just contemplating if I should make any changes and what to make. Do I try and show up defenseless so I don't concede another or do I worry more about getting a goal? Let's bring on some fresh legs regardless. We need to take him off. He's been playing really, really poorly. Alan Jones will come on in that wing back attack position. McLean's coming back at the game. I'm going to take you off for Taylor. Because I think we need that anchor man. Covo's had an absolute shocker, so good shift will come in. And Farrell has also played quite poorly on his debut, so Newell will come in. So a bit more familiar up front. With a wing back on attack, though, is taking another player forward for us. So it's going to expose our left back position just a bit more than it has already. But it's something we're going to contend with. Good bat play. That's a good ball in, actually. Very unlucky the player hit that over the bar. It's a good effort. Good ball, sorry. The effort was pish. We've got a throw in. Called good chip to Kelly. Kelly has a playmaker. Plays a great ball over the top to Harlock. Can he pick out our player? Takes a deflection on it straight across. Then cleared by their defence. And Jones for Carnarfon is just powered through. Jones. I can see why he went himself. But 
did. I don't know why I said I was unlucky or not. Bring on Ben Aquai uh, for his debut now. Horlock's he's been okay. He's not been great. So just made that chance. We can maybe get some little spark out of someday. Try and at least get a point for this game. I'm going to take us off cautious and go to balanced. Just try and do something. Because they are all over us, like. But if we don't try and get something again, we are going to get beat a bit more. Offside, surely. No? How? Oh, he is on. Fucking hell. Can Orphan 2, Balatown nil. Well, we're not finishing top six. Thing is, we've just played like this double head against Carnarfon, and then in the <laughs> relegation group, we need to play him another two times. Please don't give away a third. Good tackle. But they have a corner. Ball goes in. Her defend their defender wins it or attacker wins it, sorry. But it's just Jay Goddard. Nothing much for us to do there. Can often advance it again. Not the best ball. Goddard, don't mess this up. Don't mess this up, lad. Tries to hit a long ball. Does get it to our player at the very least. Alan Jones plays back to keeper. Plays it McLean to Kelly. Out to Goodship. To Taylor. Plays a long ball out way to Aquae. Calls out in the back post. Newell. Heads over the bar. Probably our best chance of the game so far. Like I said though about an XG. It's going to catch up to us. And it looks like it might finally have done so. I might, might need to look at changing a couple of things, I think. Well done, Goddard. At least playing this, you will keep our Goddard will come out a bit quicker at times for those one-on-ones. Give yourself, oh, fuck's sake. That is a poor performance from us. I'm not happy with your performance. That is true. We are not talking to sign another player. He's a defender. And if that comes through, you'll also see him in the next game. At least we're still two points clear of that relegation zone. Colwyn Bay beat Connors Key 4-2. And Breton Ferry... 1-1-0 one, one against Cardiff, mate. Uni. They can still stay up, but it will be tough for them. We're now two points behind Haverford West, three behind Carnarfon, four behind Colwyn Bay. And that is the closest we're going to get. The next team we're playing is... Pennybone, I think. Yep, so we're probably not going to change style or formation for that game. But maybe we will once the uh, relegation group fixtures are out. We'll be back in just a second with the second game of the video. I hit the button but didn't stop actually recording. We are back and you may see a couple of new faces in our starting lineup. Lama has just signed Josias Lama. He's a 20 year old Congolese centre half. Fairly pacey, good fitness, fantastic determination, good decision making, good marking and tackling and good positioning. He could genuinely help us with those through balls. I just noticed he's left footed. Ngoma is also left-footed. Sugar. It doesn't matter. We'll, we'll play the two of them just now. We may end up having to move now to a different formation, but that's fine. I don't mind too much. The other one is Krasniki. He prefers playing centre half, but we have brought him in to be a DM. He is six foot four. Can't head really or marking. That's another reason why I don't see him as a centre half. But decent tackling. 
it's just a good physical presence in there and should hopefully play better than Page. I have now put all of our transfer budget into our wages and we are still spending £939 a week over our wage budget. Yeah. We have released a few players who were on amateur contracts. We had offers for Theo Knight, who's on £230 a week, and he decided to stay, which kind of pissed me off. Yeah, please bring him. Like, just get him out of my club. Um, he's not going to play for us, and we're not renewing his contract. So I'd like him to go now. I'm trying to get George Newell off as well. So if both of them want to go, that would significantly cut down that wage budget thing for us. Uh, Kyle Lancaster's a bid coming for him. He's only on £20 a week, so I'm not too concerned about his wages. And I'm kind of swathing whether I want to keep him. McLean, who I've promised first team football to. Uh, um... <laughs> Uh, but he is somebody who we could genuinely genuinely do with moving on but there's absolutely zero interest in him at all McKinday's contract we're not renewing at the end of the season Page his contract's got another year to go and honestly is probably better as the second choice DM but his contract is my issue just now that I think might be the problem we're trying to rebuild this team is a lot of the contracts. For example, Owen Taylor is only £8 a week. Is he as good? No, we're fucking need it. But, he's cheaper. Same with this thing though. Good ship's on £240 a week, but Colville's on 200 So it is a case of, we might change our formation. One of the things I'm thinking now is going to a back five. Five for one, that would lose with. Maybe playing like a five three two. Something like that, or five. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. That's my problem. But we are now going to take on Pennybon, and again, we are not expected to win. So, you know. We're expected to get hammered here. Why are we away back at this page? Josias Lama. He actually knocked back TNS to sign for us, which surprised me. When TNS came in for us, that's why I made the move for Krasniki, and then I noticed he was probably better as a DM, so it kind of worked out kind of okay that way for me. Was expecting to sign both, but I wasn't going to be dumb enough to turn them both down. My staying within the wage budget was something the board kind of required of me, and I have shat all over that. So I'm kind of hoping that won't stop us getting a new contract at the end of the season because our contract expires. At the end of the season, we kick off though. We've also changed Kelly. I noticed that Kelly's preferred uh, role in a team isn't as a playmaker that it is as a ball winning midfielder. <clears throat> and we've kind of seen that from him, that he has been better just winning the ball back than, than doing anything with it in particular. So we have done that and just moved him out of that role. What that might do then is actually give us a bit more stability in the midfield. <sighs> When I say this, but it might make us defensively stronger. Just having another ball winner in there to try and just... That's his focus, Joe. He's not in there to try and play, make. He's in there predominantly to just win the ball and give it to more creative players. So we'll see what happens there. But right now, they are attacking. Higgins is get by our left back. It looks like... Uh, and Goma went over to cover, but they've just had a wide. I think we got a bit lucky there, to be all to be honest. They look like a very good side. <sighs> her look though, her looks having a poor, poor time of it. Higgins. I'm kind of wondering if we could get away with not playing wing play, but playing with one winger and two up top. I know it sounds stupid, but, you know. <laughs> oh, we've lost the ball. Kelly's missed out on the ball. Thankfully, their finishing seems to be atrocious at the moment. They've only had three shots. We've had two. They've had the better possession. We're actually not... It looks like we're competing pretty decently going by the match stats. But from what I can see from the highlights that we've seen so far is we have been awful. And that's a concern. 
Like actual concerning for me. But if you'd off me half like nil nil at half time before the game began, I'd have took it. We've been the better team here. We really haven't, but sure. I should have told Kelly to avoid getting sent off. But we'll have to deal with that now. Can we take a point at the very least from here? Any points we get is, is vital to staying up. So especially against teams like this for going to the split. Because when we went to the split, it's pretty much going to be pretty even, I think, most games. There's a couple of teams that probably will dominate us, but as long as we can pick up, you know, maximum points against, I'd say, whatever teams are in the bottom four with us, because I reckon we'll still be bottom four after this game, then that's going to be key. Good tackle when the ball back, but he plays the ball over the top to Clark. Plays it back post. Koval! Look at Koval with his first goal for the club. Good bit of play. All started with a good tackle, I think, possibly from... Her look, he wins the ball back, and Goma then plays a long ball to Clark. Clark has stayed up after going to the box. Colville's unmarked at the back post and heads it into the bottom corner. Keeper almost there, but just not close enough. We take the lead. Ballot out, pardon me, one penny point nil. Her look is getting tired, though, so that's something we're going to look at. Um, again, looks like our new players, like when they just get thrown into a game. They're not that good. And that's understandable. So Lama's going to come off. And so is Herlock. Which is fine. I don't, ah, my heel. Because uh, Nikki is on a booking. And I don't really want to lose him there. So I'm going to bring on Taylor as well as an anchor man. Just try and show up ourselves a bit more defensively. At the moment. Keep my own players like Kelly. Especially Farrell who isn't playing well. I'm wondering if Farrell is maybe better with a front two. Not far away, not far away at all. Uh, 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 uh. I can make two more changes. I'm going to take Farrell off, but I'm going to bring on good ship as a target forward on attack. And I'm going to bring Kelly off because I'm worried about that, you know, yellow card. Bring on Wallace Ming. It's just a player swap, same role. We'll see what happens here. I mean, as much as he's got good head and things, maybe he's just, I don't know, maybe we're not creating chances. I don't know. I have an issue with forwards, as we've seen from the last club, so. <laughs> oh, dear. I'm just watching some really curious defending from us. I'll need to see what our... I've probably said this at some point in the last couple of videos. Jesus Christ. I mean, thankfully, in Sassy got in front of that there, but he almost blew it because they blew it in their own net. I need to see if we're standing off the other team, because we never seem to press them. Like, at all. Are we just staying off them the whole time? Curl, though, good headed clearance out to Cova. What can they do? Plays it up front. Good chip, though. The target man tries to advance, loses out to Duffy, and now we have given the ball away again. Higgins. Houndstrop. Do you know what? Smart booking. Or, no, maybe not booking, but that's a smart free kick to give away in the diamond set game. It's not maybe the ideal area, but he's gone past them. They stop him getting the chance. Take him out, foul him. Force. If you force him out of that set piece, what they've got, it gives us all our players back as well to defend, which looks like is exactly what we are doing. As they have another corner. Their goalkeeper's up, so if we could try and get the ball forward, we might have a one-on-one -on -one situation. And we're keeping our player up just now, which is good to know. If we can... Well, we don't know because we've cleared it, but that's good to know if we give away another corner. But just hold on. Is this an unlikely three points? Just got for 10 seconds left. Goddard heads, hits it long, but we make a mess of it. Don't know what Wallace Ming was doing there, but we've still got possession. Out to Aquai. Who loses it? And that is full time. That is an unlikely three points, but I will fucking take it. Like I said before, I don't care how bad we play as long as we get the results. We can fix performances in the squad. All of that doesn't matter. 
is getting the results. That gives us a five point gap, a five point safety net over relegation just now. However, <laughs> there's still ten games to go. Is that right? Ten games. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Ten games left. 30 points still up for grabs. We have a five-point cushion. So basically, one to two game cushion in our... Wow. It's going to be tasty. So let's stay here until we get the draw to see what the fixtures will look like, to see what we're doing and when. Um, Let's just have a look. See... We were fortunate, playing Eddie's debut, prefer for the split, conference draws, Bala, Britain, Ferry, Conway Bay, Contact Hubs, we know that. Uh, our next match, so it has already been done. So let's have a look. We start with a home game against Colwyn Bay, and then we're away to Haverford West, home to Connors Key first. That could be a key game, that is a key game, there's no good about it. We need, need to win that home game. Then we're taking on Newtown. Then Britain Ferry have the West Colin Bay. Colin Key. Why are we playing so spaced out in March and April? Strange. So we'll come back. I think. Oh, uh, I say we come back for the Harverford West game and the Connors Key game. So I'll play the Colwyn Bay game off video. They're just below us as well. So that's two games we realistically need to win. So two must-win games. We'll come back for that those two games next and see where we lie on the table. If you really, if you have been enjoying the video today, please do leave a thumbs up. I really do appreciate it, and uh, I will see you all in the next one. Bye for now.